the 0-2 Kyle Resco, 33 Red Causey, and Randy Monroe Jr. in the one. Joe Hendricks Jr. the 30, the 08 Jamie Price, Brad Hancock the 17, and Spencer Saunders in the seven. Those are the top 10. Chris Rayford, Sparky West, Danny Wyatt, Scotty Edwards. So the Cycle City Court Legends, another inexpensive way to get out here and get racing at Langley Speedway and a whole lot of fun. These guys put on one heck of a race too. 25 laps are gonna go by in the blink of an eye. They get around this racetrack in a hurry. Qualifying time was an 18.286 for Brian May. He and Cameron Patrick, two of the best out here in this Legends division. Steve Kesey also and Kyle Rusko ready to go. And the green flag is waving. We're on the way. The Cycle City Court Legends at Langley Speedway for 25 laps of competition. Battle for the lead. They're two by two on the back straightaway for the lead and for the second and third, fourth positions. They're battling it out as Brian May leads the first lap out of the exit of turn number four. Pressure from Steve Casey now in the zero car. Casey all over the back end of the number 22 of Brian May that time between turns one and two. Brian gets a good bite out of turn number two and pulls ahead. Red Causey's there too in 33. He's got the third position looking on the inside to take away the second spot from Steve Kesey, who goes to the inside of Brian May and takes the lead between turns one and two. Red Causey's there. He's up to second, but he gets into the 22. They remain going the right way, but they both have lost a lot of ground when Kesey got hit by Red Causey. So here we go, I told you, the laps go down fast. Brett Causey off the pace a little bit, trying to climb back up there. Might have some damage where he got into Steve Kesey. Or actually where he got into the uh, other machine, the 22 Brian May. But he might have done more damage to his car than he did with Brian. But Steve Kesey continues to lead the 0-2 of Kyle Resco. Cameron Patrick in the 20, Brad Hancock, Joe Hendricks in the top five. Brian May trying to fight his way back up as he looks on the one of Randy Monroe Jr. down on the inside. Makes the pass on him. Now he's got pressure from another driver trying to get his way by the 99 at Sparky West. Jamie Price trying to make a move on the back straightaway on the 30 of Joe Hendricks Jr. And up front, a battle for the lead shaping up here. Kyle Resco takes the lead away. Cameron Patrick is right there following him through in car 20. He and the zero might have made a little bit of contact between turns one and two. Kesey goes back to third. And here we go with one car that has tangled with the wall in turn number two. Kyle Rusko, he wins the battle back to the start-finish line. Seven laps completed, trying to get to lap number 25. The eight of Danny Wyatt over there up against the wall in turn number two. So he's able to get from the car and he's all right. Kyle Rusko leads Steve Kesey, Cameron Patrick, Brad Hancock. Jamie Price, the 08, they're the top five. Spencer Saunders has moved his way from 10th all the way up into the sixth position. Joe Hendricks Jr. is in seventh. Brian May, the 22, moving his way up into the eighth position. Randy Monroe Jr. And then Sparky West, they are in the top 10. Just about set to get back to the race in action here at Langley Speedway for the legends with Kyle Rusko, Steve Kesey, Cameron Patrick, Brad Hancock, and Jamie Price up there in the top five. Spencer Saunders, Joe Hendricks Jr., Brian May, Randy Monroe Jr., and Sparky West up there in the top 10. Chris Rayford in the 88. He started in the 11th position. That is where he is. Scotty Edwards, the 81. Danny Wyatt, the reason for the caution flag. We have Michael Edwards in the nine. Brendan Queen, Daryl Vance, Bobby Gobble, Owen Chapel, Red Causey, and Chris Peterson with problems early. 33 got into that uh, 22 of Brian May early in the race. Might have done some damage to his vehicle. And Chris Peterson, the 16, also with a problem with uh, a leaking 
liquid coming out of the machine. Here we go. Green flag about to fly as the pace truck comes in. Dave Terrell behind the wheel of the pace truck takes it into the pits. Green flag is in the air from Jimmy Walker, a flagman at Langley Speedway. And there is Kyle Rusko showing the way now in the 0-2 with pressure from Steve Kesey's McDonald's machine right on his back bumper. Cameron Patrick there in third position, followed by Jamie Price as Steve Kesey goes to the inside and makes the pass. Great battle for the second spot in a slip to the outside, and Con Resco has fallen back. He's back to fourth. Now it looks like he's going to get all the way back to fifth as he's got pressure down on the inside. Steve Kesey now being challenged by Cameron Patrick in the 20, who slips a little bit that time between turns one and two, but gets enough of a bite to make the pass. And here goes the 17, Brad Hancock. He's fighting for the second spot. Great racing all over the racetrack in the Legends division. You don't know where to watch. Cameron Patrick leads Brad Hancock and Jamie Price, Steve Kesey, the zero. Spencer Saunders continue to fight it out. Spencer takes over the fourth position, and we have a spin over there at turn number two, the reason for the caution flag. Everybody slows up. One car sits uh, kind of sideways over there at the turn number two marker by the Bojangles sign. And Bojangles are a big sponsor here at Langley Speedway tonight. And one lap to go, and they'll get the green flag. to go here at Langley for the Legends as Cameron Patrick is looking for victory in about 15 laps, but he's got a mirror full of people ready to go. 17, Brad Hancock all over the back bumper, pushing him between turns one and two. A little bit further back, Brian May tries to get to the inside of the one car and come up to the front. He gets Randy Monroe Jr. on the outside. Cameron Patrick once again with about a half a car length over the 17 of Brad Hancock. Jamie Price in third with a challenge from Steve Casey now. He's all over the back bumper in the zero car. And Spencer Saunders in fifth in car number seven, the last winner we had in the Legends division. Joe Hendricks and Kyle Lesko going at it a little bit further back with their nose to tail at the exit of turn two. So very even as far as speed goes, too. You got 18, 395, 18, 343, 18, 294, and 18, 280 as lap times. Jamie Price and Steve Kesey, two of the fastest on the track, and they're closing in on these guys up front. Jamie Price showing the way now on the inside of Cameron Patrick in the 20, and Steve Kesey's trying to push him through. They both get by. And Spencer Saunders now wants a piece of the action as he goes down to the inside on the 20 of Cameron Patrick. And here comes Brad in the 30 machine. And Joe Hendricks Jr. Brad up front, Brad Hancock. The 88 and the one with a good battle. Chris Rayford and Randy Monroe Jr. And a spin as they tangle between turns one and two. No caution flag. Everything's cool, we're still underway. No caution flag. One well, of the record trucks got a little antsy and turned the lights on before the uh, caution came out. There's no caution flag. Steve Kesey looking for the lead on Brad Hancock now between three and four. They're very close together. Spencer Saunders trying to push Steve Kesey to the front. Brad Hancock caught on the outside now as Spencer Saunders goes down low and he will take over the second spot. 
Cameron Patrick is there in the 20 machine. What a great race so far. 18 laps up in lights. Nose to tail, it's anybody's race. Spencer Saunders now looking to take the lead away from the zero of Steve Kesey. Brian May has fought his way back up to fifth position as he gets by. The 17 of Brad Hancock. Great battle for the lead. Spencer Saunders, he's going to get it. Cameron Patrick now, he wants a piece of the action. He goes up to second. Jamie Price now fighting for the third spot. Steve Kesey in the zero. Bumping and banging a little bit between turns one and two. Brad Hancock, he knows he had that lead and almost had the race won, but he's lost it. Now he's going to see if he can fight his way back up as we have one car coming into the pits, and that is the 99 machine of Sparky West. Brian May slips up a little bit between turns one and two. That allowed Brad Hancock to get by and Steve Kesey, and now the 0-2, Kyle Resco. Just about all these cars in the top five have led at one time or the other, or at least been up there in second. Great battle here for the Legends with just three laps to go. Spencer Saunders looking to make it two in a row, and he started both races in 10th position. He's got the lead and looking for victory in just a couple laps. Cameron Patrick doing all he can to catch up to the seven of Spencer Saunders. And he's got pressure by the 08 of Jamie Price. 17, Brand Hancock and Steve Kesey in the zero. White flag is out. One lap to go. This is it, final chance. Cameron Patrick seems to be holding these guys up. Back to third, fourth, and fifth a little bit. This allows Spencer Saunders to take off again. And he is going to get the check and flag after 25 laps. Spencer Saunders wins on his mom's birthday. 25 laps are done. It's Spencer Saunders who wins. Cameron Patrick in second. Jamie Price third. Brad Hancock is fourth. Steve Kesey fifth. Kyle Resco is sixth. The 0-2. Then Brian May. He is seventh. Joe Hendricks Jr. The 30 car eighth. Randy Monroe Jr. is in ninth. And Chris Rayford with a top 10 finish in car 88 in 10. Then comes Michael Edwards in the nine. 0-3 Brendan Queen. Danny Wyatt. Daryl Vance. Owen Chappell. Bobby Gobble, Sparky West, Scotty Edwards, Rhett Causey, and Chris Peterson. And I think it was Scotty Edwards and not Danny Wyatt that spun over in turn two earlier in the race, so that was the 81 machine. But there in victory lane is the seven machine. Spencer Saunders, he wins after 25 laps. Chuck Hall standing by in the Dale Lemons victory lane. Chuck. Thank you very much. I tell you, this young man's been on a, a tear here, and he's puts it in victory lane two times in 2011. But uh, we got rained out last week. He went to Rockingham and won there as well. So three weeks, three wins for the seven cars. Spencer Saunders, as he'll do an Alec Kowicki victory lap around Langley Speedway and pull it in to the Dale Lemons victory lane. I was thinking about a 20-piece uh, chicken meal as I was watching that because it had some cautions in there, but it was exciting. I just wanted to just tear in some fresh Bojangles chicken, but you serve breakfast all day as well. Yes, we do. We have um, our steak, egg, and cheese biscuit. Buy one, get one free this month. There you go. Bojangles, go out the parking lot, hang a left, 400 yards. You're there. The all-new Bojangles chicken. It's bow time here at Langley Speedway. Speaking of bow time, Spencer Saunders will get unstrapped from this winning seven car. Young lady here is, uh, tell her about your name. Sir? Uh, Christy Edwards. You know the other photographers here. Y'all get along, talk about your cameras, things like that. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Spencer Saunders, right there. Man, I'm gonna wear this young man out. He'll get a helmet off here in just a moment. Spencer will get that helmet unstrapped, the Hans device. Got to talk about those last five laps. A lot of Stephen Kesey there. Brad uh, experiencing some difficulty coming out. But, hey, three weeks, three wins. Not a bad situation to be in starting out 2-11.
with the, uh, of course, Cycle City Corp uh, legends here at Langley Speedway. Two wins here at Langley. You took a weekend off and said, hey, Dad, let's go down and race in uh, North Carolina. One there as well. Three now for 2011. you got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, man, this is unbelievable. I, I was not expecting this at all. You know, we had a good card the first round of practice. Second round was a little questionable. Uh, I screwed up a qualifying again, qualified 10th. That must be my lucky starting position. So uh, I'm going to start 10th every week. But um, now the car started out a little bit tight. Um, you know, the more laps we ran, the better for me. I, I hated to see all those cautions. But um, thank everybody for racing me clean. Thank Chick-fil-A, Mercury Boulevard, CrushCon Aggregates. Uh, Cycle City Corp, uh, Harbor Construction, my dad, Kurt, Ryan, and I'd like to wish my mom a very happy birthday today. Hey, happy birthday, Mom. Congratulations. How about that for a birthday gift? Three wins, three weeks. You know, you were on the radio show, Langley Speedway Live, and Robbie Davis was on. Both of you win. Now everybody's coming up going, how do I get on your radio show? Uh, can you have me on next week? <laughs> uh, no, I'd just like to thank all the fans for coming out tonight and uh, watching some racing, and I'd also like to thank God for keeping us all safe. Absolutely. Spencer Saunders, everybody, and our friends from Bojangles to give you a coupon and a winning trophy.